to be a very short engagement with members of the media and just to launch our triple s media campaign on the code of conduct and reporting mechanisms <laughs> The chair, the head of IFC, the acting head, PPMED, Rep, ICMPD, Rep, KCC, our distinguished partners from the media, officers and men, distinguished invited girls, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Comptroller General of Immigration, I welcome you all, especially our distinguished partners from the fourth estate of the realm. It is with great delight that I address you today as the head of the public affairs for the lead agency in border security management at a time when migration management has become a complex global phenomenon. Let me begin this address with a few thought-provoking quotes from Aristotle. The first one, and I quote, Discipline is the soul of an army. It makes small members formidable, procures success for the weak and esteem to all. The second quote, I count him braver who overcomes his desires than him who conquers his enemies. For the hardest victory is over self. And finally, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. The changing trend in migration management and border security makes it imperative for the Ghana Immigration Service to step up its efforts in effectively protecting the territorial integrity of Ghana. Key among the services resources is this all important mission is eight human resources. A defective, unprofessional, and uninspired workforce will create a big gap in our border security architecture and make our dear country vulnerable. Distinguished invited guests, the past seven years have seen a quadrupling of the services manpower base. This astronomical increase in our human resource while improving on visibility and operations can definitely affect our institutional culture if care is not taken to properly adapt new officers into a regimented life as quickly as possible. It is in the light of this that the Comptroller General of Immigration set up a technical working group for the drafting of the Code of Conduct and Reporting Mechanism, also called or now Christian, the Code. The code was successfully launched on 10th August 2023 as part of the Strengthening Border Security in Ghana, SBS Ghana project. It is from this background that the Ghana Immigration Service has augmented efforts in ensuring strict discipline and professionalism among officers while affording the beautiful people we serve the opportunity to seek redress for all professional conduct of officers. This led to the production of a comprehensive code of conduct and reporting mechanism for the Ghana Immigration Service. The GIS code outlines standards of conduct by officers and reporting channels for addressing grievances of both officers and members of the public. Our distinguished partners from the media, ladies and gentlemen, you would, however, agree with me that the best laws still do not enforce themselves and the best policies are nothing without implementation we are gathered here today for an important step in the implementation of the gis code of conduct and reporting mechanism that is to launch a campaign that compresses the essence of our assignment into three beautiful phrases secure borders stable country and safe people this has been codenamed the Triple S. The Triple S campaign aims to promote integrity, accountability, and transparency in the men of the Ghana Education Service by raising awareness, primarily among the general public, 
on expected professional and ethical standards, while officers continue to be trained and sensitized to uphold optimal professionalism, the public will be educated through this campaign to report on professional conduct among GIS officers. Triple S, Secure Borders, Stable Country, Safe People campaign is to create awareness on the existence and context of the Code of Conduct and Reporting Mechanisms, thus enabling travelers and the broader population to detect and report behaviors that are not in line with the code and use the reporting mechanisms to seek redress. So why secure borders? Because together we strengthen our first line of defense. The GIS contributes to national security by tackling migration-related crimes, collaborating with national security, intelligence, and other allied agencies, cooperating with international stakeholders to improve the quality of operations and detecting and preventing threats at the country's borders. This has even led to the mounting of several inland checkpoints as strategic border main roads to serve as a second layer of countering illegal migration and cross-border crimes. The code builds the capacity of the officers, establishes the right ethical framework, and empowers the citizens with ethical knowledge to achieve this priority. Why civil country? The GIS manages migration in the national interest by promoting migration that contributes to the economic, social, and developmental interests of Ghana, facilitating the border crossing of legitimate travelers, traders, tourists, investors at authorized points of entry. GIS works to work stability, ensuring that every citizen can thrive in an environment of peace and predictability. A stable country is a bedrock for progress. Stability then becomes the canvas on which we paint our future as a nation. Then, finally, why save people? GIS ensures safety of the people. Sorry. GIS ensures safety of the people by deterring, detecting, and preventing border crossings at unauthorized crossing points and preventing the entry of miscreants and unwarranted persons into our jurisdiction. GIS invests in the safety and well-being of Ghanaian citizens as they secure the borders for a stable country. It is only in safety that our people can go about their legitimate businesses. A commitment to ensuring that our people remain safe at all times. We have a tagline that will go along with the Triple S campaign, that is promoting accountability building trust, and empowering our people. Promoting accountability, building trust, empowering our people goes beyond a mere tech line. It is a roadmap to a stronger, more secure, and prosperous nation. It has been said that sunlight is the best disinfectant. The GIs therefore invites rays of public scrutiny to shine over it through a commitment to hearing and addressing issues transparently. Among these things, the campaign will publicize an email address and call lines for complaints. Clients will also be empowered on what is required of officers through the official social media platforms of the service and synergies here at the headquarters and some strategic border communities and some of which will be unveiled shortly by the Deputy Comptroller General in charge of finance administration after this program here. Management of the service is committed to an assurance of quality, thorough, intensified training, strict discipline, constant learning and improvement in the capabilities of our officers. And this is evident in the recent disciplinary actions taken against officers for various offenses and the speed with which misconduct is addressed according to the provisions of our laws. Management again acknowledges 
the tendency for institutions like ours to self preserve at the expense of justice. However, just as we strive to enforce laws against the civilian public without fear or favor, we shall continue to hold our feet to the fire in line with the services vision to become a model service for migration management and national security. The public affairs together with the Immigration Professional Standards and Ethics Section, IFSI, will be at the forefront in ensuring that the requirements of the code are fully complied with by our officers. The Gender Mainstreaming Unit will also play a critical role in educating our officers on issues of gender-based violence and sexual abuses at our various commands and border communities across the country. Fellow officers, we must always remember that the laws that make us powerful also enjoins us to be responsible. Abusing our powers puts us at the risk of a counteractive boomerang, and we must avoid this as much as possible. We must achieve, achieve the we and them mentality in carrying out our duties, in addition to being intelligence-led in our operations and prioritizing continuous dialogue with the public who are indeed our masters. Border and security management can no longer be done in a silo away from interagency collaboration and community engagement. The modern challenges with migration, such as terrorism, threats, violent extremism, and organized cross-border crimes demand that we work together more than ever. Indeed, we are stronger together. To the general public, I say, a merely ragged attitude towards officers is not enough. It is equally important to understand your rights and obligations as you appreciate the mandate of officers. A culture of trust is urgently required between officers and the public for the sake of our security. Holding to our suspicions and aggressions towards each other will not help. By this campaign, the service holds out an only branch to the public let us work together for secure borders, a stable country, and a safe people. Let us find a fine way between the legal powers of officers. The legal powers of officers must exercise in the interest of our collective security and the rights of citizens, because both ideas are necessary for secure borders, a stable country, and safe people. And now to our friends from the fourth estate of the red. Without whose help, this campaign will not be successful. I entreat you to consider yourselves, and indeed you are, as key partners with the GIS, and throw your lenses on us as a way of peer review. We count on you to put us on our toes, but more importantly, help us to sensitize members of the public on the contents of the code and its reporting mechanisms. In line with this, I'll be visiting some selected key media houses, some of whom are here after this lunch, to throw more light on the code. As I conclude, let me join the many grateful officer, officers to express our profound gratitude to the European Union and the International Center for Migration Policy Development, ICMPD, who sponsored the production of the Code of Conduct and Reporting Mechanism and continue to support the service very significantly. Let me rephrase or let me rehash the thought-provoking quote from Aristotle. Discipline is the soul of an army. It makes small members formidable, procures success for the weak and esteem to all. I count him braver who overcomes his desires than him who conquers his enemies, for the hardest victory is over self. We are what we are, repeatedly do, Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. And this is to our officers. The code is seeking to change certain behaviors and attitudes that do not sit with the values of the service. And it is when we begin to adapt, to live by the tenets of our core values, then we will become the professional institution that will create the stable environment and the safe people and the peaceful nation that we are all looking for. On this, I say God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. Thank you very much for your attention.
The line is okay. Let's maintain the line. So are these essential? Okay. Our post shall unveil the campaign billboard from the middle side. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and build this. So thank you very much for coming. Uh, friends from the media. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click on the bell for more updates.